G'day viewers. Wednesday means it's time for Wanga Fat Wednesday, where I tell you who am I not giving a fuck about today. And a few people might have been taking bets on what the topic would be today, and it's people who expect an apology from me because I upset them. And I mean that just generally, and I have said that before, and of course it's not going to be a huge surprise to some people that I'm talking specifically about some reactions to uh, the video I put up last Friday, but you know, seriously, um, as this is really serious and some people have expressed deep upset, uh, I'm going to read from a pre-prepared statement. <clears throat> fuck your mother, fuck your mother, fuck your mother. Wait, wait, that that's an earlier version. Um, I changed that. <laughs> in all seriousness, I went through a huge number of permutations in my head of how I was going to address this once I decided I was going to address it. Uh, and in case you think you're worried, in case you're worried, you think you are missing out on some marvellous bit of anger, they were all just variations of go fuck yourself. That's still my central message, it's just the tone has changed a bit and some of the specifics are a little different. For those of you who don't know, my last TFU Friday video featured, among other things, me being angry about political and moral hypocrisy that resulted in the oppression of gay rights by closeted gays. But the real fireworks were started because I used the phrase, being gay is a choice. And to some people, this is apparently as bad as setting babies on fire. Then I compounded my sin by not immediately groveling and capitulating to these demands that I retract what I said. How dare you utter those words from the English language. I will not put up with it. Let me tell you something. When Nazis tell me what I can and can't say, they get told, go fuck yourself. And by Nazis, I mean actual self-proclaimed Nazis, not just pushy people. <laughs> uh, when I say the same thing to uh, Christians, Muslims, atheists, teabaggers, global warming deniers, and general haters. If you think you can tell me what I can and can't say, you can go fuck yourself. Oh, and if you think you have special dispensation to tell me what I can and can't say because you're gay, guess what my reaction to that is? And I will give you a hint, it rhymes with go fuck yourself. You see, I'm an equal opportunity offender. If you still can't tell why these reactions pissed me off so much, let me explain my point of view. See, this was about three seconds taken out of context from a seven and a half minute video. And it isn't even that. It's three seconds taken out of context of everything I've done over four years. If you want me to have any respect for you at all, you won't take that out of context. You will put it in the context of everything I've done on YouTube. Okay, maybe that's not practical because that would actually take you several days of continuous watching to watch everything I've done on YouTube. Maybe let's just limit it to where I've discussed issues of bigotry generally and uh, gay rights specifically. That'll only take you a couple of hours to catch up on. Yes, that's how much I put into speaking out against bigotry. What have you done, you whiny fucking shits? But seeing as so many people do seem to know if I literally meant being gay is a choice, or what did I mean when I said that? I will actually address it directly. And I'll preface it by saying, my sum total of knowledge about what it means to be gay is, I'm not gay. So I'm not going to make some all-encompassing comment about the gay experience. I don't think anyone can do that, but I definitely can't. You know, having said that, a lot of the angry responses had a distinct I am the only gay in the village tone about them. These people seem to think that they were unequivocally speaking for the worldwide gay experience. It was their point of view and nothing else was acceptable. Which is kind of a big call, because I mean, in the straight world, I'm always seeing conflict and disagreement on what straight sexuality is. So, hey, maybe life's much simpler being gay. I don't know. One person even went so far to say that sexuality in total wasn't a choice. Uh, I couldn't help thinking, your sexuality must be really boring if you never make choices. Well, maybe it's really weird. See, I make choices all the time. You know, this person, that person, yes, no, yep. This position, that position. Do I need batteries? Um, should I go for the leather restraints or the nylon ropes? See, choices! It's all about choices! And while I'm not one of the gays, I am one of the old. 
Look, I know this is the interwebs, so I'm dealing with people whose attention span is so fucking limited they can't remember anything that happened more than five seconds ago. But you know, I'm old. I remember the olden days. You know, the 80s. <laughs> when I went to college, I was on a campus that had just a really full-on sort of Marxist, Leninist, feminist dialectic going on. Hell yes, I just said Marxist, feminist, Leninist dialectic in a YouTube video. Deal with that! So, for those who don't know, back in the 80s, the queer politics orthodoxy was that being gay definitely was a choice. Because the thinking went to say there was no choice in the matter. Well, first, it implied weakness. It started to suggest that it wasn't the act of a conscious human. It was like some primitive bestial urge. And quite frankly, as I tried to explain to some people in comment responses, and they were too stupid to get it, if you say being gay is genetic, you open the door to basically eugenics arguments that go, ah, oh, well, if it's genetic, let us identify this defective gay gene and treat it like we would any other genetic disorder and wipe it from the face of the earth. I am not joking. There were actually people, evangelicals, saying we should isolate this gay, gay gene to be able to perform tests on pregnant women so that it could be like the fetus could be tested in utero and these evil gay aberrant babies could be aborted. Is that what you want? Personally, I don't think homosexuality needs a defense. If you're gay, it's who you are, no matter how you arrived at it. And I'm sorry to say, if you think you need a defense against social conservatives who want to declare that being gay is somehow wrong and abnormal and your answer is that it's genetic and you think that clears you, you have a very limited, naive worldview. The conservative objection to same-sex hanky-panky is not actually about what's natural, whatever that means, it's actually about, ew, that's icky. And no matter what argument you come up with, whether you say it's a choice, whether you say it's genetic, whether you say it was the flying spaghetti monster, these people are still going to go, ew, icky. So yeah, if I'd had any inkling at how stupidly some people were going to react to me saying being gay is a choice, I might have chosen to say something else, like, you know, being gay isn't a problem. If it's who you are, it's who you are. But being a lying, hypocritical sack of shit who ruins other people's lives because they aren't as privileged as you, that makes you worthless fucking scum. And honestly, if that isn't good enough for you, I don't give a fuck about you.